Welcome to Cosmic Channels! Uh, I am Brayden, your host. Um, this is your show, The Colin Show, where we get uh, all your calls of paranormal, cryptid, uh, crazy dreams, wild stories, scary stories, and anything in between. Um, now, huge shout out to a couple people. At the end of last, last week, we had I was just having so many technical difficulties. I got so many messages of support saying, hey, you know, push through it. Don't worry. Uh, it's all good. Uh, we'll get through this together. Um, and at the end of the show, we got some hu absolutely huge donations uh, from Rodolfo. So, Rodolfo, if you're listening to this one, uh, thank you for those. They did not go unnoticed. I just saw them immediately after the show. Um, he he's almost hit our goal uh, to upgrade the lines and get a new mixer. Um, you know, then we can get uh, call waiting and, you know, some other cool things uh, like that. Having said that, there is already a call on the line. So, caller, what's your name? Where are you calling from? Hey, it's Bandito. I'm calling from Idaho, Ohio, what a Idaho. The place is one anybody come to. Yeah, it says okay. uh it's it sounds way better. Oh. <laughs> it, 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 Can you hear me? Yeah, you're coming through nice and crisp now. Oh, okay. Okay, good, good, good. Um, so I didn't mean to call super fast, but since I'm here, I get your dream for the night. Yeah. Woo. Woo. Knocking out the first dream of the night. Let's hear it. Okay. So this is a reoccurring dream and I'm going to preface it with a couple of things. It started when I was about eight years old and it has gone on. It went on until I was like mid twenties pretty regularly. And then from there it happened about once a year um since then and so that's the first thing second thing is it takes place or it references a spot in nevada that is on the road between um boise where i live or where i grew up to san francisco so it's like somewhere in the desert between Win winnemucca reno and all of that before you get into california okay now i've googled earth this area on that road trying to find this location like just recently like in the last six months or so and i cannot find it but knowing what i know about it it could have been taken down so basically what this is is it starts out with when we were when i was eight we drove to california for my aunt's wedding um i noticed on the drive down that out in the desert there was like this big metal I learned it was an art installation that was out there that somebody was trying to put together this art installation out in the desert um, but it was like these big metal pieces that looked kind of um, like tube like and they kind of inter interwove together into this like I want to say building but not really a building but it was just like tubes that kind of made a building sort of thin yeah okay. um, and like I said, it was just out in the desert. We drove past it. We didn't stop. It's just something I saw as we drove past. Saw it when we drove back. You know, and I'd seen it several times because we would make that drive every couple of years to go down and visit family um, in California. So I started having this dream not long after that first trip to California. And it involves that place. But what it was is that it, was, it would usually start out with, like, me going to a drive-in sort of place and this is like in the back of the drive-in like almost like you'd have a, a jungle gym in the back of a drive-in for kids yeah got bored with the movie they go play in the jungle gym kind of thing but it was this and so i would go to this and as you're climbing on it and climbing through it there was a spot that would like open up kind of like a portal and take you into an alien spaceship um and I would go onto this spaceship and it was like a massive spaceship. It was all white, like bright hospital, blinding white, everything. Um, like there weren't any stairs to go up through the layers of the, of the spaceship. It was all like ramps and walkways. Um, and so it just, over the years, I, I had it very regularly for, from like eight to like 15, 16, I'd have it at least once a week, twice a week. I'd have the same dream of going to like a, a drive-in, going to the back of it, 
climbing on this art installation thing, going through the portal and getting onto this spaceship and interacting with the beings that were on there. Um, no, is there any part of you? Time, is there any part of you that maybe thinks this is a, like I know we're talking dreams here, but is there any part of you that maybe believes this is maybe some sort of like abduction scenario? Well, so that's kind of what I'm getting to. So because it happens so regularly and so frequently that it, at the time, and I'll say this: at the time when I was eight, nine, you know, in my younger kid days, I didn't know about aliens. I didn't watch any um, X Files. You know, none of that stuff on TV. You know, I, I I didn't really like scary movies. The Gremlins scared me as a kid. Like, I just couldn't handle the little creepy little things, and I still actually don't like them. So I wasn't into that kind of weird, out-there kind of stuff. I, I can honestly say I didn't really know what aliens were. Okay. Um, so in that time, you know, going up uh, into a teenager, my older sister who, it's a long story, is a sister, not a sister. She's just a really good friend of the family we call a sister, um, was pregnant. And one of the trips that I took into the spaceship, she was there. And she had just given birth. And they were wheeling her down one of the ramps in a wheelchair. And there was this, like, gray-type alien. Yeah. But it was, like, somebody with, like, a, not like a, it was more of an oval-shaped head. I want to say kind of like a Stewie head from Family Guy like an oval shaped gray head um, with really big eyes on it was pushing her down this ramp. And I saw her and I saw her like, Oh my gosh, you're here too. This is amazing. We saw, you know, when we were talking, I'm like, Oh, let me see the new baby. Well, she pulled it back and it was a little alien baby. <laughs> it freaked me out. And I woke up. I, I remember that specifically. I, I saw the baby and it like scared me and I woke up. because I'm like, Oh, how the hell did she have this weird little baby? It, that's so uh... as I got, now, does does your friend like? Have you ever asked her? Does she did she have like a similar dream? Um, or your sister, sorry. I don't remember asking her about it at that time. Um, I mean, I could ask her now if she's ever had any kind of dreams or weird things like that. She was about four years older than me at that point. No, yeah, she was about four or five years older than me um, at that at at that well she still is um older than me um so i mean she was i don't know she would have known what aliens were at that point and by the time i was a teenager i did too i was kind of watching the x-files a little bit and all of that okay but like i said when i started as a, as a kid i definitely did not link the two as to what it was um so it they were very frequent like i said about once a week um all the way up until i was about a teenager in high school, I did talk to some people about it, and I would make this joke like, oh, yeah, I, I have this reoccurring dream where I go on a spaceship, and then people would, like, laugh at me like, oh, you're you're weird. That's so weird. How, why are you dreaming things like that? That's not even possible. You know, as kids do. Well, it's an interesting thing to have, a, like, the reoccurring aspect of it because, I mean, you hear so many UFO abduction tales of, like, reoccurring abductions over a course of a period of time, right? And to me, I'm like, yeah. you know, it, it sounds like it, it, it's an interesting one because you're like part of you wants to believe that these are just dreams and it's kind of weird dreams. But like, you know, then when you look at, you know, if you're anything like me and you're a you know, fan of abduction stories and stuff, you start to go like, well, this has some striking similarities to some some of the stories. Right. Right. So and that's when I when I started getting older. Ooh, there's some echo there. Sorry. When I started getting older, I started learning more about. UFOs and aliens and the abduction stories and all of that. And I, when I started learning more about it, the dreams started coming more infrequently instead of, you know, a couple of times a week, you know, a couple of yeah. times a month kind of thing. It was more like now every three months I would have a dream. And then, you know, as I watched more movies and TV shows and different things on it, you know, just as you do, as you get older and start learning about things, they became even more infrequent where then it was like maybe once every four or five months, six months, or to have so, maybe just one or two a year. So what do you, what do you and think? then I went for, what, go sorry, ahead. go ahead. I was going to say, then I went for a stretch, like in my late twenties, where I don't think I had one for maybe a year or two at a time. And then I had a very similar style dream in my, you know, when I hit my thirties and I'm, I turned 41 this year. So I haven't had one in a while now, but it's so vivid and I can remember it so well. 
it's like I'm still having them because I can recall so many things about this happening. And like I said, it started when I was eight years old. It's, it's, I don't remember much about my childhood. I am not that type of person who can, who can just recall like childhood these, memories. These stand out. This, I cannot forget. That's it's crazy. Now, what, so what do you think, you know, what do you think the meaning of them is? What do you think they are, the dreams you're having? I don't know. That's what's weird. It's like, I mean, I get that they, like, for abduction stories, you know, they take people and they kind of do experiments and stuff. Um, I don't ever remember, like, getting any experiments done. I do remember that I was able to, like, explore the ship and go up and down the different levels and, you know, not really go into any of the rooms, but it was like... It was like a big open concourse kind of thing where you would just kind of like take this big ramp around the ship in like a big kind of circle and like you got to see everything. Um, and I just remember the, the middle of it being really open. And like I said, the circle just kind of goes around the center and then there were sh rooms and stuff off of it. But like I said, seeing my sister there had given birth, I knew, well, there was some stuff going on on the ship. It wasn't just people walking around, but it's like, I remember seeing different types of aliens, though, too, at the time. Again, I didn't know what they were, but different types of beings. I saw, you know, what you would classify as the grays, the big head kind of things. I saw, like, these I mean, ram-style ones that had, like, the curly horn kind of style, but it wasn't a horn. It was just kind of like how their head or their hair kind of curled up on the side in a ram now, it's, style. Yeah, it's, it's really – it's. Like it's really fascinating to me that you you really need to talk to your sister and ask her if she's had similar dreams because I would be, you know, it'd be fascinating if she's like, oh my god, that's so crazy because I had this dream once, right? And you guys, you know, because maybe that would unlock that maybe this these aren't just dreams and they're actually uh, abduction stories. Right, that could be. It, I mean, I should definitely talk to right. I mean, talk um, to her every day. So. Someone, someone in the chat's asking a good question. Uh, this is from Pedro. Okay. He's asking, "Did you encounter anyone on the ship that seemed familiar from dream to dream?" No. The only time I really interacted with the aliens that I saw was the one that was. I, I want to call it the nurse alien that was pushing my sister. That's the only one that I really had, like, interacted with. Other, otherwise, it was kind of like just seeing them off in the distance doing their thing, and then I just wandered. Like, I would just walk around the ship. And then I would, like, I would go back to the, where I came in, and I'd pop out, and I'd pop out at the playground metal posty thing, right? Yeah. And then I'd go, you know, it'd be back at the drive, I'd be back at the drive-in. So I, I, there were dreams that I would start there, and I would come back to it, and then there were dreams that I would just wake up from the spaceship i'd never make it back in my dream to the starting point well i want to update little homework on this you got to reach out to your sister and just be like hey you ever have these dreams you know okay 15 years ago do you it's ever have any vivid because maybe it's just something that she's hanging on to too but like i had this fucking weird dream too and it's like all of a sudden now you guys are like you have a cooperating you know dreams that you know then we're like we've got to get dr leo sprinkles resurrect him get some hypnotic regression done uh and get to the bottom of this but uh fascinating stuff you got your homework we want to hear more i want to uh, you're gonna to have to re reach out to us and let us know maybe i'll do an update next week okay. or something if you can uh on how fast you can turn around and get that information for us Okay, can do. All right, thanks for being the first call thanks tonight. Thanks for letting me share my dream. Yeah, and I, I think I didn't I didn't see anyone losing their shit in the chat today, so I think the tech issues are sorted out. No big deal. Uh, so thank you for calling. You're welcome. Have a lovely night and a happy new year. You too, and I'm married. I hope you had a merry Christmas. All right. See you later. Yes, you too. Bye bye. Uh, just like that, the Cosmic Lines are open. You want to call, you want to share your story, uh, one 404 uh, Every Thursday, 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, we're, we're, we're getting, you know, think of this as a coast-to-coast -coast style, uh, but on YouTube and stuff. Um, and a couple people in the chat supporting the show. Red Bill, uh, I, I saw your $20. I thank you for your $20. It goes to the coffers uh, to help upgrade the lines and make this show great. But we got a call on the line. Let's bring them right in there. Cosmic Channels, what's your name? Where are you calling from? 
Uh, my name is Boris. I'm calling from New Hampshire. Woo! Are you, are you a first-time caller? I am. I have uh, I wanted to call you guys last Halloween, but then you ended Cosmic Channels like right around that time. Yeah, I think we did. Yeah, just, bef just before then. So, sorry. Hey, at least we're back. Um, what do you got for us tonight? Uh, so I got a ghost story from uh, my old neighborhood. Oh, love it. Where, where, can you tell us the neighborhood? Uh, yeah, so this is in, uh, it's located in Franklin, New Hampshire. We were up on Clark Street. This is like 10, 12 years ago. Oh, more than that. We were 14, 13, 14 years old. And uh, we had decided to stay the night. It was five of us, and we stayed the night at my buddy Nate's house. And we were just playing, I think it was Halo at the time, like Halo 2 or 3. Good times. Just playing. It's a fuck, what a hell of a time to be alive. All <laughs> right. <laughs> and uh, so for some stupid reason, it was like 1 a.m., we started talking about people who died. And our buddy Nate mentioned that this old lady, Rose, had died in his house. So, you know, not believing them, being stupid kids, were like, ah, no way, dude. And uh, my buddy was like, hey, let's just go down to my house real quick. We'll grab a Ouija board, and we'll see if Nate's lying to us or not. So being stupid teenagers, we go down to the house, all five of us, idiots in pajamas at 1 a.m., and uh, we grab this Ouija board, work our way back up to Nate's house, and we start messing with it. First of all, we have no idea what the rules are yeah. or how to play. So I know. Ha Hasbro's pretty loose with, uh, loose with that. Yeah, so we just started doing stupid stuff and started messing with it. And uh, I think at first one of our buddies was messing with us, but about 10, 15 minutes into it, we were starting to get bored. The stuff actually started moving. We started asking questions. So we go, well, what's your name? And it spells out Rose. We're like, are you good or bad? It spells out good. And then we just started asking it personal questions that only Nate knew because he knew of this woman before he moved into the house. Yeah. And uh, – it started to get real creepy and real weird because she was answering really personal stuff. So <laughs> after that, we're like, okay, you know, let's finish this. This is really stupid. We really shouldn't be doing this. And uh, we all take our hands off. And uh, maybe it's just my imagination, but all five of us saw the same thing. We took our hands off, and the board just moves itself to no. Like nothing else. Nobody asks a question. It just goes straight to no. Interesting, and, so, and and like this, the board's just sitting on a table. No way, the board's on a slant or or tilted where the yeah, planchette no, could uh, slide. A hardwood floor, like super level. We have like we're all holding our drinks and stuff next to it, so we have cups of water, yeah. juice, whatever we had at the time, and it's all leveled out. So we're like, that's really weird. And uh, we've had our hands off of it multiple times, and nothing happened. So we were like, all right, you know, we'll chalk it. Not much to think about. Uh, 15 minutes goes by, and Mark comes back. He had gone to his house to grab something. He's like, you know, I never told you guys, but I think my house is haunted too. So we're like, well, okay, well, let's try your house too. <laughs> pack it up. <laughs> so it's literally next door. We pack everything up, and we go to Mark's house. And for some reason, I don't know why people think this is aesthetically pleasing, but his family has bright, like, red, blood red lights for every outdoor light. In his house and the patio light. Can can I tell you something on that note? I've learned that that's a sign of swingers. Seriously? Yeah, that's a sign of swingers. So maybe his parents were swingers. Uh, that's a new one to me. I knew about the pineapple. I, I, I heard I heard the, the red light. the red porch light is a, is a sign that you're open for swinging. Oh shit! Well, that's a new one. Zell taught me that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So. We go into his house, and uh, we go – for some stupid reason, we went to the basement. So we set everything up on this cardboard box that was like a really sturdy cardboard box. It was like an old Christmas tree box, and we uh, set up some stools around it, buckets. And, uh, of course, the light in the basement, red. Yeah. And so we start asking it stuff, and uh, we're like, what's your name? And it goes, Zozo. And we're like, oh, all right. That's a cool name. So – we start playing with it, asking a few questions here and there. And then uh, everything we ask, it doesn't matter if we ask for, like, personal information, like, age, something to verify that it's not one of us messing with it. It would just constantly go to no, 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 and then it would circle the board, no, circle the board, no. So at that point, me and my buddy are like, all right, this is creepy, dude. I don't, 
I'm getting pretty freaked out. I really kind of want to go back to playing games. And they're like, no, no, come on, let's stay. We're like, all right, well, let's at least go make some food real quick, and we'll come back to the game. So like, okay. So we all go upstairs, we make some peanut butter jelly sandwiches, we make some popcorn. And uh, we come back downstairs, and the board is upside down, and the little, like, eyeglass thing is across the room, like somebody threw her against the wall. But the board is perfectly upside down where it was on the Christmas box. Interesting. So and I'm flipped. Like, <clears throat> and I'm like, ah, yeah, no problem. Mark came down here and messed with us. He's a jerk. You know, he was messing with us. He was a little older than all of us. He was like 17. We were like 13. Yeah. And uh, next thing you know, Mark's coming downstairs with drinks. He's like, hey, guys, I got everyone drinks and chips. And I'm like, you moved this board, right? Uh, no, we left it where it was. I'm like, you moved this board, right? <laughs> and uh, as he's walking downstairs, right next to the stairs, they have just piles and piles of books and boxes. A box, like, slowly just tips to the ground and falls. We're like, oh, you must have pushed it. And at that moment when we said you must have pushed it, you heard something in the basement scream no, like in the deepest voice you could imagine in your head as a kid and a box that I shit you not has books like Bibles and just like religious stuff in it. Super heavy. Cause I helped him move this box before to get down to the basement went from where he was standing clear across the room into the wall and just the box broke apart and the books came down against the wall straight. Every one of them to the bottom. We didn't close the board. We didn't do anything. I've never seen people drop food and run so fast in my life. We ran from the top of Clark Street all the way down 11 houses, like, back to my house because we didn't want to stay in that part of the neighborhood. And that, yeah, that's, like, I mean, that's terrifying because I, the the thing for me is, it, like, there's there's either two things. Like, I, you know, I'll take it the side of, like, holy shit, you know, is your friend still alive? Did they, did they have to get that house you know, blessed and, and exercised. Um, the other thing is, is like, as someone who's, I've pl- played with Ouija and I've pulled a Ouija prank on someone, like a pretty elaborate one, the, the amount of effort to go through all that, to try to like you, I feel like you would have known if that was a prank, right? Like, do you know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, he would have had to do something amazing with that box. Cause we had to literally move the box from the top so, of the stair, like the midway. So the staircase goes down, and then it takes like a nine degree turn against the wall. So like the likelihood of like some sort of like Kevin McAllister setup of like fishing line is like out of the question. Like there's there's, I just want to no, eliminate there's, that. There's, I I wish there was because that would like solve so many things that I've thought about at night. <laughs> it's just there's nothing. The way it hit that wall, the way the books fell out, and just how heavy that box was it was insane to this day like every now and then i'll have a nightmare about it where i just like wake up in a sweat and i'm like holy crap it's weird that it's stuck it's weird that it's stuck with you like that's that's some that's some you know some terrifying trauma stuff when you see something like that and that's kind of before the time because i'm trying to think when zozo like really went viral like and i don't think it was that long ago really like well the we didn't know about Zozo, but I think Mark did because he was into Ouija boards. Yeah. So that part, I'm thinking he played like on us. He moved it around to do whatever. But when the board was upside down and that box moved, that was something that I feel like we messed with. So something maybe that we should mess with. So maybe there was something in the house that was feeling disrespected by, you know, maybe well, even uh, by him playing the joke on the board, and then you guys leaving the planchette on the board, which is big no no. Yeah, well, apparently in that house, uh, there was a suicide. The guy's wife in, like, the early 20s was having an affair or something with one of the neighbors. And uh, the guy took a neighborhood kid and, like, tried to kill the kid and then kill himself, like, as a murder-suicide because it was the neighbor's kid. And the kid escaped, and then he killed himself in that house. Oh, yeah. So it's got some – it's definitely got some haunted past. You ever been back since? Uh, No. No, no, no. Not to that (laughs) one. I've been to Nate's house. Um, I won't go. I won't go to Mark's house anymore. Did, I feel like and he's st- dry. He still lives there. Uh, uh, he moved out like two years ago, and, but and, he was fine. Like he never had any issues. He said every now and then because he didn't have a door in his bedroom, he had like a curtain. 
she said at night the curtain would fold to the corner and it would stay like that for a few seconds and then it would just drop back weird that's strange man so I, it's a terrifying thing having a haunted house i couldn't imagine living in there after experiencing that and having me be like all right well hopefully i wake up in the morning <laughs> yeah no uh, nate still lives in his house he says he has encounters but they're friendly i, I don't know that i can't well, I mean, I think there's all like, you know, there, there's like the, you know, that poltergeist activity where it's like stuff moves on you or, or footprints. I would consider friendly. You know what I mean? Like that's not aggressive stuff. You know, door, you know, door creaking open or creaking close. I, I would classify that stuff as not like non-aggressive paranormal activity. Whereas like, you know, you start getting door slammed, like anything with aggression, like stomping door slamming it's kind of has a little bit of a different feel yeah no the only thing that he says happens is uh coffee cups get moved and then uh if you ever leave the basement door open no matter who leaves it open how many times you leave it open when you come back it's closed interesting uh hey man so, that is a fascinating ghost story and i'm <laughs> i'm jealous that you got to witness something like that but also <laughs> glad it didn't really happen to me because i would have been hightailing it i would have been the first one out that door but thank you so much for calling in and sharing that story. Yeah, no, thanks for having me. I just want to say uh, you guys are doing amazing. I'm wicked glad Cosmic Channels is back. Hey, so thank you, man. I wish you guys nothing but the best. Make sure to tell your friends. And if you can get Nate or Mark to call in and tell us their version of the events, do it. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'll am text those guys and see what they're up to because I haven't talked to them for a little while. But maybe they'll call in. Perfect. All right, man. Thanks so much. Yeah, enjoy your night. Hey, take care of yourself. But. Whew terrifying ghost call oh my god i couldn't imagine being in the room for like a, i guess a poltergeist activity like that absolutely terrifying um you know someone in the chat wikifoot saying that he has a sleep paralysis sexual assault story we've already heard one uh two weeks ago so it's fair it's fair game uh if you want to call in um we'll take all stories on cosmic channels i want to i want to hear it um that being said um you know, stick around after the show because we do a shareholders meeting. Uh, we kind of, uh, you know, change, take your suggestions into account and move, you know, move the show forward. Um, basically, the big suggestions last week were, God damn it, Braden, fix the fucking tech issues. I think I did that. So I think we're good there. Um, so make sure to hang around after um, and, uh, you know, help uh, dictate where this show goes. Um, but the lines are open. Just like that, one eight three three seven zero three zero four two four. Um, I need another story. Come on, give me a call. You know, you know the drill. Fuck you. Call us. Um, <laughs> some of the chat in that one. Um, Peppery Rock says, "Thanks to you guys, I now have endless money." You're welcome. Uh, everyone who listens to Alien Theorist Theorizing uh, now has access to unlimited money. So if you if you don't listen to that show, our main show, go ahead on over there, and I think it's like three oh two. You can have infinite money just just like all of us now. Um, if you, And Peppery Rock, hey, listen, I, you know, now that you have infinite money, don't be afraid to, uh, you know, shoot some our way. Just saying, with all that infinite money you got. Uh, let's get these lines upgraded. Um, I'm hoping to do that by the end of next month because we, we've been blowing past where I thought we would be, just the amount of uh, love and support this show's got. So I think we'll be... Uh, you know, upgrading those lines sooner than later. Um, so if we don't have another call, I got a, I got a brand new um, listener story. Um, I wonder if I can, I'm just worried. Okay. All right. No one call. Listen, do not interrupt me here when I'm uh, reading this. Don't call in. Cause I, I got to change all, I got to fuck with the settings to, uh, so I don't hear the dial tone. So I'm reading here. Don't don't dare call and tell me a story right now. Uh, this is from story for Cosmic Channels downtime. This is from I uh, I don't know if I can say the name. I, I won't say the full name. Uh, Kyoto, first time listener, long time caller. I wanted to tell this story to someone for a long time, and if hopefully you do get around to reading this on the show, that would be awesome. Well, this is awesome. Uh, for the paranormal one, I want to start out by saying, I was awake when it happened! Back off, Dream Police! Uh, I was about seven or eight years old, 
and my mom had just gotten home from going up to New York State to get away from everything, as moms do. Uh, during that time, there wasn't enough beds, so we had to share one. After returning home, I was so used to sleeping next to my mom that I continued to do so when we got back for a while. One night during this time, my mom got up to use the bathroom, and she had woken me up completely. Stay back, dream police. While she was in the bathroom, I felt the presence of a stereotypical lumberjack type man standing outside her bedroom doorway looking in. I didn't get the feeling that he was there to hurt us. Just felt like he was confused to see someone there and was being respectful by staying outside of the room. Eventually, it felt like his presence faded away and my mom returned from the bathroom and eventually we fell back asleep. Uh, thanks for reading this and not calling the dream police on me. Uh, I mean, that's an interesting one because, you know, that's one of two things. Uh, let's go three things. We've got one that is a possible, you know, you, you saw a weird lumberjack ghost that lives in your house who just was like, hey, you know what? I'm going to peek on them, you know, benevol benevolent, benevol benevolent, benevolent, stand there, you know, looks upon you. And then he leaves. Two, uh, you know, little, little worse. Uh, you had a fucking intruder in your house who was like, not sure what he was gonna do. <laughs> like, he's like, ah, oh, there's a kid there. Uh, I'll just stand here. I guess I'm gonna leave. Ter also terrifying. Number three, you had a dream, my friend. You fucking dreamt that. I don't know. One of those three. Uh, thank you for submitting your story. If you're too, if you're too scared to call in. You, you're a big chicken. You get, you get the, your nerves go crazy uh, when, as soon as you get on the phone. Um, feel free to send us your story at cosmicchannelspodcast at gmail.com and we will read it live on the air or else someone else will read it. But just like that, there's a caller on the line. Let's bring him on. Cosmic Channels. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Uh, I'll go by Wook. I'm from St. Paul, Minnesota. And you you go by Wook? Well, that's like my online name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Perfect, perfect. What do you got for us tonight? So I was listening to your. <clears throat> I was listening to an older episode, or uh, a couple weeks ago, and you said that you would take one dream or sleep paralysis call for per show. Yeah. Let's hear it. I'm I'm feeling generous. I mean, the first one was dream esque, but it had aliens, so I'll I'll let I'll oh. allow this. Let's hear it. <laughs> All right. So it, it's a uh, so I, I'm a long time sufferer of sleep paralysis, and uh, I had gone camping with my wife and two kids, and. Uh, I started to feel like I was going to have sleep paralysis or uh, I woke up in the, in the morning and, and I was uh, having sleep paralysis. Um, <laughs> so I woke up, I had, uh, you know, like I, I was in the tent and I had, I had morning wood. So like you're, you're in and out of, of sleep. Right. Yeah. So, so I kind of was, uh, you know, and, um, I, I felt like, uh, something was on the outside of the tent was trying to, to come inside the tent and, uh, it, it, it I, I thought it was a raccoon. So it starts like biting through the tent side and it, it, it like grabbed, it, it bit like onto my morning wood. <laughs> and so like, I'm like freaking out That's and right. I can't move. I can't say anything. I start like whining cause I'm trying to, cause you can't move or anything like that. Um, <laughs> and so, uh, you know, after a while, like I'm scared, I wake up. And 
I tell my wife about it. I'm like, so, you know, I had morning paralysis, or I had, uh, morning paralysis. I had sleep paralysis, and and I told her everything. Like, I, It sounded like there was, like, a, a raccoon or, like, a coyote outside or something, and it bit onto me. And and my wife was like, I so I tell her all this, and then she says to me, after I tell her everything, she's like, so, so why do you want a blowjob from a raccoon? <laughs> I was going to ask if there's oh, bite, was there bite marks? <laughs> no, it, it was, I, it was so weird. Like I, I, at the moment, like afterwards, yeah, it's funny and everything, but I bet it's but terrifying. It, yeah, I, was, yeah. I was so scared, like so scared. I'm, I've got to be, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm getting better. I've got to be more professional on the show when I'm talking to uh spiritual sex assault survivors. And I've got to do a better job at not uh, thinking it's hilarious because it's not. It's no, serious. It, it's hilarious. <laughs> I I, it, I totally forgot about it, but when I was listening to the other episode, it it, it reminded me of uh, when I when that happened to me. So. Well, you're you're not alone, brother. There's there's sufferers out there. Uh, many sufferers of uh, the the old sleep paralysis demons, you know, sexually assaulting people. You're not the first. I'm sure you won't be the last. Uh, th- thanks for calling in uh, and sharing that. You know, it's it takes a it's brave what you just did today. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Thanks. Thanks so much for calling in. Yep. All right, take care. Um. You know. That's. Uh. Yeah, hey. Listen. You know. Survivors out there sharing their stories. Um, if if you or a loved one has been uh, spiritually sexually assaulted, you know where to call. One eight three three seven zero three zero four two four. That's it for dreams, though. That's it. That's it for tonight. No more dreams. Um, I want some calls. One eight three three seven zero three zero four two four. I got tons. I got Zell in the chat chirping away. I thought he was busy with a baby. I thought he was too busy. To do Cosmic Channels Thursday nights. That's what he told me. He doesn't have to, he has tons of time to come on a chirp though. So uh <laughs> um but yeah, if you want to support the show, upgrade the lines. That's the next thing. We're upgrading the lines. We are getting uh we want that call waiting back. We want the we want to have you know people on the wait lists. Um and if you're thinking if you want to support the show, you love this show, you want it to keep going, um the easiest way to do that, you know, head to our social media, head to our YouTube and stuff and share it, share it, tell your friends, uh, share a post, uh, like a post. It's the easiest way to help the show. Go to Spotify, leave a five-star review, go to Apple iTunes, leave a five-star review. Those are easy, free ways you can help grow the show. Um, so we can keep it going because at the end of the day, uh, I'm going to do this show as long as, you know, it's growing and people are loving it. So, and, and want to share their stories, I'll keep doing it. So, uh, you know, that's the best way we can grow it together. So, uh, but I need to call on the line. The other thing we need is callers. one 833 Come on. I know someone's sitting there in the w- wings. Uh, Xavier, come on. None of that, none of that nonsense here. What you're giving me. Xavier's in the chat saying, if I wasn't waiting for a call, I'd call in with a lizard people story. You can't tease like that, Xavier. Get your ass on the line. All right? Call in. one 833 Let's go. I want to hear it. <laughs> um, while we're waiting for a call, I've got one more uh, fan story uh, written in. This is from... You can use our... Ah, oh, perfect. This is from John. Everything, fellas, I got what I think. No, evening, fellas, I got what I think is a pretty good ghost supernatural story for you. This all happened in, I want to say, 2005. I was a junior in high school, 16 years old. There were always stories about ghosts and all sorts of crazy stuff going on at this place in town called Highfield Hall. Highfield is a large house or mansion if you will, on the top of a huge hill and right in front of the entrance to what is called B.B. Woods, where I grew up in uh, Falmouth, uh, Massachusetts, on Cape Cod. 
uh, way back when there was a family that owned the house and all the property surrounding. There were always stories about family members hanging themselves in the house, the father killing people, killing people, and the woods being haunted. One night, my buddy Brendan had said to me and my buddy Nick that we should go up to the hall that night and see if anything weird happens. The mansion was being renovated and you could get inside of it from climbing through this sketchy hole in the ground at the time. It's, uh, that's terrifying. My friend Jason had gone inside the weekend before with some friends and swore that one of the toilets had flushed by itself and all of a sudden old classical music started blaring. I was skeptical but thought... What the hell, let's go check it out. But I was too much of a puss to let anybody talk me into going inside. It was probably around 10 p.m. when we arrived. Brendan, Nick, and myself walked around the front of the house towards the backyard. I had brought my shitty digital camera with me at the time, and I was hoping to maybe catch something that night. Once we go to the backyard, I was looking around and noticed in one of the windows on the second floor, there was a question mark drawn in the window pane. It was as if somebody had fogged up the window and drew it on there. I thought of I thought nothing of it. Maybe the construction team had done it earlier in the day. Not more than ten minutes later, standing in the backyard, we heard Help! Help me, help, help over and over again in the woods. Brendan said I told you this place was haunted, and it lasted for a good fifteen minutes, and then we heard what sounded like a baby crying. I was about to crap my pants. There were also rumors about satanic worships that went on in the woods that I never believed, but now I wasn't sure what to believe. We all started to get freaked out and decided to leave. As we were leaving, it, I looked up at the window where I had seen the question mark, only this time there was another one. Either somebody was in the house or it was truly haunted. We all started to walk a bit faster, and as soon as we turned the corner, music started blaring from the basement. And it was old classical music my friend Jason had told us about. We went into full sprint. We were all pretty shook and drove past one of the local bars close by just to make sure we weren't hearing anything coming from there. Not more than two cars in the lot and nobody outside. I had told a few buddies about that night, and they wanted to go see and hear the stuff for themselves. The next night, we went back, and they wanted to go into the woods. They had brought a brand new, in-the-package flashlights and wanted to wander the darkness of the woods. I refused to join and watched them head in. They made it no more than 100 feet when I saw both flashlights die, and they came running out screaming. Uh, something was in there. That's a that's a rookie move. That's a, that's a rookie move going in. I, you got you got to pull them out of the plastic first. Everyone knows that. You got to test them. Uh, I thought they were missing messing with me, but when I took both their flashlights, both were dead. Later that week, I had uploaded all the photos I had taken from the first time, and out of maybe twenty, three or four of them had a strange but perfect spheres floating in them. I wish I still had the photos to show you guys, but that was almost fifteen years ago. To this place, or to this day, that place creeps me out. And every once in a while, if you walk in the woods during the day, even in the summer, you will get that sudden rush of freezing cold air that hits you and sends chills down your spine. Place is haunted for sure. I hope you enjoyed. John. I mean, that's a that's a cool, nothing cooler than haunted mansions. I mean, now like nowadays, he's saying this is 15 years ago because I'm like, nowadays, if you kind of had something like this, it's 100% it's hundred percent, uh, you know, homeless people in there nowadays, but you know, 15 years ago, like, I don't know. It's, 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 an, it's an interesting one. The help me, help me in the woods. It's just, it's a creepy, it's a creepy thing. Even if people are messing with you, that's, uh, that's, uh, it's terrifying. So anyways, that's it. Uh, one, eight, three, three, Seven zero three zero four two four. You want to share your story? Jump on. Let us know. I want to hear your story. The lines are open. And oh, and as we, we got listen, we got some lovely people chipping in for the show again tonight. Uh, Clayton, lo, you know, so guys supports every single week. Thank you, Clayton. Uh, we got a nice donation from Art. Thank you, Art. 
and from Boris, who called earlier. Th you know, thank you guys. This is all it goes towards upgrading the show. Thank you so much for pitching in. Um, you know, do what we can. Zell's chirp and play background music. I don't. I don't have the fucking capabilities to play background music. I put it on post. Can't do it, dude. I'll explode everything. Um. 1-833-703-0424. Guys, I need a call. Maybe the lines are not working. Someone's got to call me and make sure the lines are working. Um, yeah, Brian Johns is saying, yeah, it's probably a meth head screaming in the bush. Like, if that was nowadays, if you told me that story was this week, I would say, ah, you know, homeless people. They're, like, you know, they're something like that, an abandoned mansion, 100%. You go there now, you go there today, I bet there's squatters living in it. Like, it's just the sign of the times kind of now. But 15 years ago? Ah, I don't know. Is that one 703 um, Give me a call. Let's hear the story. I want to I wanna hear it. Let's get, let's get one more caller before the end of the night. Come on. Where's Xavier? I heard, you were, you heard he was going to call. I want to hear it. There it is. Thank you so much. Let's get him on the line or whoever this is. Cosmic Channels, what's your name? Where are you calling from? Hey, this is Xavier. I Woo! Um, yeah. Thanks for calling in. Yeah, no problem. Okay, so, uh, yeah, just, just if, yeah. <laughs> this is a, not a PG story. It's, it's short, though. Um, so, you know, sometimes people look for companionship, not, not prostitution, not like that. Um, but you know, you, you can use the internet to meet people and whatnot. So met someone, um, brought them back. This is a few years ago. And, um, you know, you're trying to liven up the mood and whatnot. Um, get things going. Uh, is this, is this on? Yeah, yeah, I'm listening. I'm, I'm, oh, okay, okay. I'm thoroughly. I, you've you've got me hooked. You got me okay. hooked. You got me hooked on. It, you know, looking for love. I was like, well, okay, yeah, I'm hooked. Yeah, no, 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 uh, no judgment on other people. No. you know who want to pay for it. I, anyway, so no. <laughs> but um, so you know, trying to get things going and whatnot, and uh, you know, as you as one should, you kind of look up to make sure your partner's enjoying themselves, of course. Um. Well, I looked up and it was like a lizard person. It was like the lights weren't on. It was dim, but it was like the, it just like the, the face changed. It looked like it was a lizard. It was like, oh my gosh, what the hell is going on? Are you for, are you for real right now? You like, like look a shock here in the moment? Yeah. In the moment, look up and it's like, you don't see a person. It was a lizard person. Are you, it was are like you... a lizard person. Like full body, full body lizard, or no, just no, it like just, face. It was just like the face. So you're you're talking like you know when we see the you, you know you go down some YouTube rabbit hole and you see the the oh shape yeah yeah no face. it was like something like like that and sort of like yeah yeah I guess you could say the YouTube what you see on YouTube as is a a lizard person. And what what did you what did you do next? That kind of killed the moment, and I was like, okay, uh, so. Let's go back and watch some TV, trying to be casual about it. And then it was just like, I, I, I got to work in the morning. I'm sorry, because you don't want to mess with the lizard people. Well, and I mean, if and did did they go? Did it go back right away? When we left, then it was human. So, like during like the during the, the during the awkwardness, there was you were still talking with lizard person. Trying to be like, ah, you know, I'm not really feeling it anymore. Oh, no, no, no. Then it was like normal looking. So was there like any, human. did you pick up any vibe from them? Were they like, were they like onto you that you were onto them? No, no, no. It did seem like they didn't know. And it, maybe it was just because things were dim, but it was like, this is not a person. I mean, the parts down there, it was all human female. <laughs> so oh. I don't know what hell goes on there, but. Yeah, it's uh, now, th that was a bit. Have you have you kept weird. in touch with this person at all? No, hell no, hell no. no. 
now is is there just you know just question asking you this over any any drugs or alcohol involved earlier in the night uh, i mean there were a couple of drinks but not to the point where you you're should be seeing, around. You're seeing blizzard people yeah it was yeah. just like no chance going, you're like no, oh, okay no like you didn't feel weird later no chance you were drugged or anything that i'm just trying to no like, no you know, no this was about maybe four years ago three yeah. four years ago uh in in toronto i'm yeah i'm out west now so same time zone as you yeah but uh it's, yeah that was just the weirdest thing of ever needed a moment to play it straight and be like yep not doing anything that was it so did you just have a sense of danger then after like when you saw that or like or just like what no. what's going on no it, yeah it was just more like what the hell's going on not, nothing dangerous but i mean hearing stories about lizard people uh bef- like knowing this beforehand it's like there's there's certain things you shouldn't mess with so yeah uh <laughs> yeah yeah it was a short story uh sorry it's like i don't know yeah, it's, it's not not a whole lot it's interesting i mean i you're the first person i've ever talked to that slept with a lizard person so it didn't get that far oh, it did not get that yeah. far sorry you the first person i've ever met who went down on a lizard <laughs> not, 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 <laughs> not, not <laughs> that's what you toys. told me that's what you told me here <laughs> yeah that's no, uh, all good but uh no i just good, good love the show you guys like been listening to you since the uh, old school prolapse days right on man. um but yeah just keep it up and yeah hope it's nice to see cosmic channels back in again and uh yeah when you i don't know if you know if you're meeting people online people should be asking about lizard people but i mean i guess they need love too yeah it I was mean, and it was, was not asleep either it was no no dream police sort of deal yeah uh it's 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 interesting because i'm like you know it's you know if 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 this is to be believed, you know, you're like that. This is 100 percent what you saw. It's interesting that they're you know they're out there walk wandering around. I mean, there's enough people that see them. So if you if you've had an experience with one, call in the show. I want to hear it. Let's share your experience, like Xavier. Even if it's not on the sexual side, right? You just saw one. Let us know. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, it's it's weird, man. Like I don't know if you, you know you should ask people like their history about stuff. Cause you want to pick up bugs and whatnot. Like it's a reality, but I don't know if. <laughs> are you a lizard person is something that you should be asking someone, but cause like, you know, like if you see someone and it's, it's dim, you can still make out the, the shape and see that it's a person. Yeah. Like, unless if it's totally dark, of course, but this was just like, this did now, not look human. And I have to ask like bad, maybe bad acne, any chance bad acne or something. And you're just like, no, 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 no. It, it wasn't, it wasn't like that. It just looked like, a lizard like me, that's probably that's the closest thing i can me and zell took a night to. me and zell took a night boat one time and when we were in thailand to go get our visa stamped and zell slept like the next bunk to the it had to be a lizard girl like there was i i literally saw her as i walked onto the boat and i was like i am not laying in the bunk next to her i was like oh my god and i, I took the next bunk and then zell didn't realize right away and then he laid down and he was like oh he gave me the eyes but so I seen one. I don't know. It was something else. She had lizard skin for sure. So, anyways, hey Xavier, thank you for calling in. Yeah, no problem. Thanks, keep Jerry, it up, sorry. and uh, yeah, I would just keep listening to you. Uh, these other far more interesting stories, but uh, fellas, be a, be aware of the lizard people. They are out there. <laughs> Take care of yourself. <laughs> All right. Thanks. Bye. Uh, you dirty bastards in the chat. I got people saying I never knew I had this kink. You know, all sorts of jokes. <laughs> you lucky didn't get eggs laid in his chest. Uh, we got time for one more call. So if you want to be the last caller of the night, one eight three three seven zero three zero four two four. 703 You know, maybe if we can grow the show enough, maybe Zell will open the channels on another night and we can get more callers and another time where we can, you know, get callers from overseas that works better for them. Who knows? Who knows where we can grow this thing? This is just the humble beginnings, and then we'll we'll go from there. Um, last last chance. I'm gonna give you two minutes. Set the two minute warning here, and then we're gonna uh, shut her down for the night. One eight three three seven zero three zero four two four. Come on, I know a couple of you in the chat were uh, were saying you you wanted to uh, jump in there and you know give a call. So now's your chance. <laughs> uh, 
Xavier in the chat saying, for real though, she didn't taste like a lizard. <laughs> Jesus, that's disgusting. You guys are you guys are gnarly. Um last call. Come on. 1833-703-0424. Uh let's in the night. One more call. Uh I don't have any more stories to read, so we're depending on one last call, guys. Uh, this is how we grow the show. We need more calls. We need more stories. So that way more people uh, share their experiences. Um, so let's do it. Come on. Anyone else? Last cost. Last chance. Last chance. Going once. Going twice. Um, that's it. That's it for the night. We're going to wrap this one up. We're going to head right into the shareholders meeting after. Uh, thank you so much for everyone who's listening and calling. Uh, we record this show every Thursday night, 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time um, for the foreseeable future, unless there's, um, you know, you know, I'll, I'll let you know if there's ever an issue where I have to miss one. Um, you can send in your story to Cosmic Channels podcast at gmail.com and we will read it on the air or maybe i'll have someone else read it um but that being said the cosmic lines are now closed what a, man way better show that went way better than last week thank god and no i didn't lose any of my audio actually suck it zell got it all i should shouldn't talk shit because my power did go out last night and i was f fucked up everything i was working on but you know it is what it is um shareholders meeting um let's take a peek at some things um where are we oh you know i always forget at the end of the show i need to start remembering just to check um perfect i gave everyone a shout out perfect i because last time i missed shout outs for people um guys any any suggestions i was looking up i priced out a mixer and call a hippo um i'm hoping with a mixer what i can do is not only you know provide better audio but i can also then like zell saying is i can have background music on the call i just i just don't have enough going on here where i can uh get that it's a work in progress guys it's a work in progress every week zell was the master the magician at this um not me so you know slowly um let's look at the let's look at the numbers let's crunch the numbers here while we're on speaker here so uh call hippo it was like it's like 300 for the year for um 350 for the year for uh the like gold package for the year um where we can you know we can go on and uh have call waiting i can have the lines automatically open and close when they're open gives notifications have an answering machine so you could leave a message so i could have the cosmic messages if you were nervous and didn't want to you know couldn't call the show but you wanted to leave a message and stuff like that um so i want to upload i'm like go big or go home let's do that one and then a mixer um it, no 399 is not what i have oh no it's not quite i haven't updated it the 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 cosmic uh the goal thing doesn't quite update live i have to update it manually so we probably i'd have to i'd have to do the math here um do we have a voice channel like in discord i can make a voice channel in discord is that what we're talking about Like I can, I can hundred percent make a discord, just a, just a mixer so I can have more input so I can, ha you know, have music running into one so that I can like right now it's, I have to do everything on OBS and it's just not working. No, I, I want to upgrade the lines next lines is the next thing. This is just, I price everything together. Oh, I probably can upgrade the lines right now. Actually. Let me see. Call hippo. Um, let me log in here. I can definitely Oh the is that the Andrew is that the 
MH370 with the orbs? Is that the footage you're talking about? Because if that's the footage you're talking about, it's fake, dude. It's hoaxed, unfortunately. I thought it was super cool. I was so into it. Anything to do with MH370, I just absolutely get hooked. Hook, line, and sinker. Now, with the Discord voice chat, you just want me to open a voice chat for everyone? Yeah, lines lines first, hundred percent. Well, I think I think I might be ready to go on the lines. I just gotta figure out how to um, upgrade it. Live calls. How do I do that again? I had it all figured out. Profile. Um, where is where? Oh, upgrade. Yes, what upgrade? So annually. So that is, if I buy it annually, 40 bucks a month times 12. So it's 480. So I actually think with today, three, 399 plus 20 plus 25.3 plus 30. Yeah, we can, we can, we can boy the, we can, we can boy, we can boy, we can boy the, the gold, the platinum package. Uh, we can buy the platinum package right now. It's, it's 480 for the year, um, for everything. Um, so yeah, let's do that first. Um, yeah, Andrew, the, that, the, MH370 it looks like it's uh it looks like it's fake from you know the even the kim.com he put out like a bounty if you can prove it's fake he'll pay $100,000 and someone did uh do that and he actually paid the he paid the uh $100 or $100,000 to the person um kind of cool that he actually did that but um yeah, so we can up the good lines. I'm going to do that after the show today. So then next week we'll have, um, next week we'll have the, um, I'll have call waiting, uh, and I'll be able to set up a voicemail. I think I have time before next week's show to get that all set up. I, I'll make time. I can, I can figure that out. Um, let's look at the, I mean, last last week's episode was a fucking nightmare i was honestly so discouraged after recording that because i was like oh i was listening back to my audio and i'm like oh it's good it's good and it was not good it was not good i didn't lose it it was so fucking bad um i don't know how long the voicemail is but uh i was so discouraged but i got so many messages from people saying um you know don't worry about it just keep going and that was it actually really helped me get through it i was just like you know what I'm just gonna put this one together as is and we'll just move forward don't dwell on it and just uh move past it um people are asking still taking calls no calls the lines are closed you got to wait till next week now if you want to call uh we're just kind of going over changes we're streaming live on tiktok we're streaming on youtube someone has told me that the youtube restream is not working can someone confirm that in the chat can someone go to youtube cosmic channels and um like not the big theory not the alien theories theorizing feed but the actual cosmic channels feed and just make sure that's working if not i'll have to reconnect it the other thing that did not work tonight that i had set up was um i had it set up for um instagram lot to go on our instagram and that it just did not work oh Lane M Mendenhall, thank you so much. Let's keep the show going. There, you know what? There was someone else there too. I gotta go back in the restream here. That sent some in. Rusty Mill, thank you so much. Um, it, it, everything goes towards the show right now. We're just trying to make it better. Um, okay, so it is working. Okay, it says it's working. Oh, the YouTube Cosmic Channels feed. It alerted me, and I opened the link, and it worked. Okay, so good, good. That worked. Um, the the other thing. So the other thing I'm hoping to have set up this week is Restream now works 
the package we did works with um, Instagram, but for some reason, and I cannot figure out why, the Instagram did not, even though I did everything, set it all up, the, it did not send to the Instagram page. So I'm hoping to do that next week because we have a quite a big follower on Instagram too. Well, not a big follower, but 5,000 people that it could possibly stream to. So that would be huge. Um, so next week I'm hoping to do that as well. Um, and that'll grow the show. We had, we had the most, most viewers this week. So if we can keep that up and that's just, we got to sh share the show. So, uh, make sure to send the show to your friends, tell your friends to call in, um, you know, uh, send it to everyone. But this, this week, you know, on probably the episode that is, you know, the least favorite of mine of all time, the cosmic meltdown show last week. Um, we're going to most likely be the most downloads so far. And I mean, the, the, we're not, we're not talking crazy numbers here. The first show did 287. Second show did 245 over the Christmas holidays. And then we're on pace to beat both of those. So we're, I, I think we'll probably finish the day with, you know, you know, 290, maybe we can crack 300, but let's just keep growing that. I'm not too worried about those numbers right now. I just want to keep growing it. We need subscribers. There's a ton of back catalog for your friends to listen to. Um, so shoot them a message, let them know. Um, so upgrade the lines, anything else? Do you guys like the picture changes? Oh, um, you know what? I kind of thought, I kind of thought about, yeah, people do enjoy a dumpster fire. Um, uncle slam said a trusted theorite to play operator for cosmic channels. The only thing is I don't. I mean, there is three-way calling, but then I don't know how to mute. Like, I'd have to mute the call. Um, maybe. May maybe in the future. Um, definite maybe. I think we can... Uh, like, I I think I know how because on the call hippo thing, there is... Um, there is actually, like, three-way calling. So then that person... But I just don't know if that person could answer the lines... Let, let's just let me look at the package uh, let me look at the let's look at the package again what does it say it says so we would have right now we have the free plan uh and we're about to we're about to ball out get that platinum we're about to boy that platinum plan uh so we're about to get um forward to device uh Text message, uh, useless. Uh, voicemail, um, skill-based call routing. I don't know what that means. Um, Role-based access control. No idea what that means. Got to look into all this stuff. Call recording. That's kind. Of, that actually would be huge. That's good. Skill-based is crazy. Is that is that a good thing? Skill-based call routing. I don't know. I don't know what that means. Um, there's a lot of stuff I don't know. Uh, IVR. I don't know what IVR means. It sounds cool. Um, live calls. I mean, isn't that what this is? Live calls. I don't know. I'm not sure. This is all there. Like all these features are new and exciting that we can maybe like bring in, which would be awesome. Um, call queue. Huge right um user working hours i think that's huge because then i can have like when you call the lines outside it would tell you the times i could have a message being like this number is open these dates right i think that would be cool um internal team calling i don't know what that means cool um power dialer i don't know what power dialer is but we got it we're gonna have it I don't, I don't know what the fuck power dialer means. Um, call transfer, three-way calling. See, call barging. I don't know what call barging means. These all sound new and exciting, aggressive, a lot of action. IVR is like a, a menu. I don't a menu for what? I love it. Oh, like push one to leave. Oh, like you've reached the cosmic lines. Uh, and, uh, the, the host will be with you soon. If you want to, uh, yeah, barging. It says barging. B-A-R-G-I-N-G. -G, barging, right? Uh, press 1 for 
to stay on the lines. Press 2 to leave a voicemail. Oh, that's cool. I like that. Route to external number. Forward to multiple device. Pause, resume recording. That's huge. Because then um, that's really, that's a big thing because then not only do I have my recording, I would have a backup of your guys' calls um, recorded by Call a Hippo. And I think that would eliminate uh, some of the problems. So. Um, yeah, hit me up, Uncle Slime. I, I, we're, we're open. It's, you know, it is a, the dumpster fire. We're slow. It's smoldering right now. It's not, it's not open flames like it was last week. Last week I was sweating. My whole back was soaked just from trying to take calls. And I'd be like, it, it like in my brain, I was like, it's working. It's working. And it was not working. Uh, so I'm glad I figured it out. I just, I got myself a new little, um, headphone amp. Um, so that, and that has sorted it. Because I run the headphone amp into the, into the, into my box, into my audio two channel. Uh, I don't know what call barging is. What does that mean? You just barge onto a call? I have no idea. I'm so confused as to what that is. It's like a supervisor jumping on to help a newbie without transferring calls. Oh, so like. Oh, so like I could, you know, say if Zell was recording, I could be. Okay, interesting. So you could have someone, you could have someone in. So we could. Yeah, well, I know it's, it's Bandito saying it's not needed for this, but I feel like we, we get it. So I don't know what to do with it. Well, maybe I should downgrade the package. Let's let's look here. I'm like. Because this is what we get in the Platinum. Call reminder, power three way, But it's the pause, resume, recording. So then I could res record, stop it, rec forward to multiple devices. See, the forward the call, because that, cause that would be... if. See, I think forward to multiple devices is where we could have an operator that checks it. But... I don't know. This might be a little in the, we might be getting a little ahead of ourselves here right now, but, um, use the assistant answer question, clearing up information. Oh, okay. I see. Um, I like the, I like the, Hey, Zaprel. Zap, Oh, you know what? I fucking spelt your name wrong. I put Zaprel and not Zapal. I think you know who you are. Thank you. Um, uh, I, I don't think I got a chance to thank you. Uh, when you were in the chat the other day, when you gave your nice donation, um yeah you pay for the sweat it's uh i jar it up it's it's on my it's on my fansly or whatever those sites are called um i did have uh every year someone from australia sends us gifts i'll talk about it more uh on monday next not this monday but the following monday show no this monday uh someone sent me a little gift package and they sent me a t-shirt and then in the t-shirt was uh a nice just unopened box of some anti-fungus cream medicinal cream <laughs> they sent me um but yeah it's uh anyway anything else though like how like for the live streams um any other i added the top supporters thing i just i felt like i was i felt bad because i was missing people's um donations at the end of the show so i just wanted to make sure that they pe the some of these people knew and Rodolfo, seriously, like I, you know, I'm not gonna, you know, he's he's gonna be number one for a while. It's gonna be quite a while. Um, but anything else for the live stream? Yeah, background music um, for the show. That's next. That's next. If I once I get the mix, once I get the mixer, I think that'll be the way to do it. Cause, hold on. So let me let me try something here. Because the the problem I have is this. The problem is that, oh, you know what? Let's try something. Let's try something live. Because the problem is I can't, if I can hear the music because I don't have, I don't have a mixer and I don't have um, a, a big enough, like, whatever fucking recording box, whatever these things are called. Let me, I can't remember the name now. Uh, I record what I hear. So that's how I record the calls is I record the input from the computer through 
um, like the mic two input on my audio box. So if I can hear the music, it, the music records over the, the person's voice too. So then I don't have a clear, clear, like clean cut version of their voice, which is a problem. But uh, let me try, let me try something. Let me try something live and maybe I can turn it down. Cause that's, that's, that, that's my only worry is that because if I had a mixer, cause then I could listen to a different channel, right. And turn it on and be like, okay, music's nice, perfect level. This, I, I just don't have, I just don't have the equipment cell has. Right. So that's, uh, uh, okay. Let's go. I like the space. Let's go space. I think this is, nope, that sucks. Uh, I'm trying to find the, uh, uh, okay, let's try this one. All right. So can you guys hear that? Can you hear the background? The feed died on Facebook. Interesting. It says it's still going. Now is that too bad? He's like, it's like the problem is, is I can't hear if the music's too loud. It's pretty loud. Okay, so what if? Like, tell me when that's a good level, because you you don't want it overpowering the person, right? So I'll leave it at that. So I, I've turned it down, but it's always. Minus 35. There, that's minus 35. Afraid no active pass through or a channel for you. All right, well, let's do this. Lines are open. Someone call. Let's go minus. Someone saying minus 25. Okay, it's at minus 35. Now I'm going minus 25. Hello? Cosmic Channels? Oh, shit. Hold on. Let's hold on. I, I do this every time. Sorry. I've got to set my... It doesn't set the default for you, so once you once a call comes through... Now, whoever could call, call back. It's minus 25, so let's go... I'll go minus... 20. Cosmic Channels. Hey. Hey. You know it's gonna be me. Yeah. Uh, no, I think I like it, doing the trial and error stuff. It's someone saying it's it's hard because it's always a little delayed, the chat. So I'm like, I right now it's sitting at minus twenty. Uh, and so I'll, thirty-five was too quiet. Yeah. Uh, the call ring is loud. Yeah, the call ring is gonna be, you know, with the voice and stuff. So I don't think I can do anything. I can't really change that setting. Maybe I can and call Hippo. The minus 20 sounds not too bad. Uncle Slime saying that's loud. What's the consensus here? Should I, should I lower it a little bit? Raise it a little bit? I was gonna be curious if the person on the phone could hear it and I don't hear it. Like it's just playing out on the thing. So minus 25 is perfect. Fine, in the lower end. Minus 25, minus 20 sounds good. <laughs> Let's split it, go minus 22. And then everyone's happy, hold on. Um, whoops. Um, where is it? Minus, okay, so minus 22. Okay, so there. So let's go, hold on, I'll turn it back on. Boom. So I, I could turn it on like that. Now, is that better, do you think? Because I have a couple of these that are like a long mix that Zell's given me. Um, so let me know. i got to set it minus 22. Um, someone says stream stops on Twitch. It shows that it's going fine. Weird. I wonder why that is. Do some of them, like the Facebook one, I wonder, does it have like a timer where after an hour it automatically cuts off? I don't know. 
Do you have a time limit on those? I don't think so. Some Someone said it came back on. So this sounds good. Okay. Well, let's try. I'm going to turn this one off because I'll make a negative 22 is nice. Okay. I think that's a sweet spot. I like it. So let's do... See, I don't like doing this stuff when I have no one because, like, I can listen to it, but I can't. It's hard because when I'm just doing it myself, um, yeah, I just turned it off. I just turned it off. Don't worry. I'll turn it back on in a second. Um, okay, so. Um, let's do. I want this long space ambient this one okay so hold on this is gonna be loud don't worry I'm gonna ch I'm gonna get it to that sweet minus 22 you're gonna have to make a cheat sheet to know which song is gonna be better because some of them might be too loud at 22 or too quiet yeah well I think once I set them they're set right so it's like How's uh, that space ambient? Yeah, uh, Peppery Rock. I yeah. The problem is, like I said before, if I I know I can monitor it, but then I can't, like I can monitor it, but I can't do that live right now because if I monitor it and I can hear the music, it records the music, so then I don't get a clean audio track of the caller, and that's the biggest thing I think. So it's you know that's what I'm working with but how's that how's this space ambient sound at minus 22 is minus 22 just the sweet spot because I can upload this whole folder at minus 22 and you know we can just smash out like this what's the census Chad I'm looking at you let's go on the space ambient So we're doing right now uncle slam i got you on right now can you hear the can you hear the space ambient is it good minus 22 space ambient for the next 12 <laughs> minutes minus 22 sounds good it's not now bandito give me some you know tell me a little bit about your day so they can hear in the background so working for the post office it finally slowed down which is nice Our crazy Christmas rush is over. Yeah. So that's good. We uh, had time to breathe. Amazon's not crazy. And by the way, I hate Amazon. Everybody who orders from Amazon, which is me as well. Oh, I can't stand yeah, it. Amazon needs to deliver their own stuff. What kind of phone are you on, Bandito? I'm just curious because some people say you sound a mile away, but I literally, there's nothing I can do. Um, I'm time. on a Bluetooth with one dead speaker. Did oh. you just switch it to like a speaker phone? Uh, phone? Yeah, just just try just a phone. I'm just curious. Okay, hold on. People are cheap, people are chirping in the chat. It's a terrible call. Hang up. That was the that was even the bad Bluetooth as well. Oh, that's so. no, that's way better. That's that way makes better. better. <laughs> okay, Don't, sorry. Hey, peppery rock. That's that's what we're here for. We're trying to figure out. So now I know if people are if people are on there, I can go. That was a weird beep I just heard though. What is that? What is that? Oh, are you back? Hello? Yeah, sorry. I just hung up on you trying to turn it off. <laughs> yeah, some people are saying it's quiet. I just don't I don't want the background to overpower anyone. That's the thing. So now I know. I'm going to say, if people are sound a mile away, I'm going to say, hey, are you... Uh, I'm going to stop them and say, call on the phone, because you sound way better like this. There you go. Was my story bad then? Because I was on Bluetooth then, but it was the double Bluetooth. Uh, no, no, it wasn't bad. It was definitely... Okay. I was like... I was definitely better Quieter. than... Yeah, but okay. Um, so w w do we do we want to try here? Let's just try minus twenty. Let's go back to minus twenty, and let's just see if that um, if we like that. Cause I like I just I want to. So if someone's telling like a creepy story and they're getting into it, you know, then I want so that. There but this, there was this man that lost his hand. Every Halloween, he'd come around the graveyard, and he had an axe for a hand. That was a bad story. Yeah. 
Um, no, okay. yeah. I think the. Sorry, I was reading reading some chat. I'm like, yeah, that was a bad story. Uh, no, I think the, I think the census is like minus twenty, minus twenty two is is working. Like that's that's what's going on here. Uh, calls themselves are kind of hard to gauge. Yeah, it, it calls up to the person how lot of a talker they are. Like, there's not much I can do other than fix it from fucking crackling like last week. But I think I got that sorted. So. Um, you have a way of, can you amplify their voice just then turn them up or does it make it so it then crackles or... Okay, hold on a second. Stand by. Let me see if I can boost. See, I just don't know if I can boost your audio. So just keep talking and let me, just tell me if it, chat, tell me if it boosts. I'll try to boost it on my end live. Hey, here's some dad jokes for you. So why does uh, Santa, why is Santa always happy? Because he knows where all the ho ho hoes are. Ha ha ha! What do you call a reindeer with no eyes? A no idea. Uh, let's see. My dogs are playing, and one of them likes to make a noise like ah! sound because he's silly like that. Hi, hi. And then one of them likes to come and give me kisses. Yeah, it's she's cute. I, so I think I think I got I think I can <laughs> I think I can turn it up in a quiet caller. It's just it's just hard. I just gotta I just gotta watch levels and but then if you started yelling it would blow the fucking these people's ears off. Well I'm gonna say that too, if you're watching levels you're not really paying attention to the story. Yeah. And then you're gonna get lost in like what they said. Because and, and you don't know the, what to the, ask. The thing is is the thing is is when I have a clean like today's clean recorded both audio uh, I can boost it and post for the pod version. It's just, I, I, I think if I notice it, if I notice it, I will try to make a mental note to boost, like to to tweak it. But it's a it's a tough one to do because I don't I also don't want to leave it too loud for the next person, because that's the recorded audio, right? So it's like, yeah, it records you a little louder, but then if the next person's like blowing my ears off, that's what's recording, and then that's harder to fix. So. Um, right. So, anyways, I I think uh, no the the call yeah the call comes from my desktop audio runs on OBS it comes right from my audio input it's in basically channel two of my audio input comes through comes uh, through my computer into my headphone amplifier then into my channel two. Mic two on my focus rate. No, music is coming just OBS. So OB this I can't I just have the, the audio file right in OBS. I think that's the way to do it. And then I can have audio. I think. No, I think I think that's gonna be the best way. But okay, what hey, we got an upgrade. We upgraded a little this week. So um, thanks, Bandito. I'm going to close the lines again. Okay. See ya. Peace. All right. Uh, anything else before we shut this one down? I want to go eat some food. Um, uh, anything else? Oh, 100%. But, Pedro, that's that's one of the things is it's hard, I think, when people, when you just have a specific. But if anyone, I've always said, if you want to call, I, I mean, Agent Anderson's called in a couple times. We've we've shot the shit about some UFO case files, you know, some conspiracy theories. It's it it if you have an idea or you have something you want to talk about, I will talk about it on the show. Um, maybe I could have to do a better point of make, making that known at the beginning. Um, but you know what, Pedro, I'm leaving that to you. Call in next week, and call in next week and. Uh, and uh, we'll shoot the shit about a conspiracy theory you want to talk about or a theory you have. Uh, you know what? Sure. one 803 I got time for the Irish potato. Hurry, quickly call in. I'm waiting just for you. Cosmic Channels, what's your name? Where are you calling from? 
It's the Irish potato, bro. Hey, sorry, buddy. We're just right out of time. Uh, we'll catch you next week on Cosmic Channels. All right, everyone. See you guys next week. Love you. Uh, let's keep growing the show together. Peace out, everybody. <laughs> see, see you guys later. Make sure to call us.